Hey guys, sorry, sorry for the delay. We got a big storm coming, so I'm just keeping an eye out here. So as part of um, my series on trying to help people with some of the more common problems that they're having, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually show you what I'm working on here. Um, I'm going to uh, crash, I'm gonna intentionally crash my X9 light, right? It's pretty much brand new X9 light. It's good, just got updated and I said, you know what? Let me crash it real quick or try to break it or do whatever I can to ruin it software-wise so that I can restore it and show you guys how to come back from when it won't turn on or something like that, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a, um, do a picture in picture here or something to this effect. I'm gonna be running OpenTX and I'm gonna be you're gonna be able to see the um, uh, the uh, radio as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assume let's say that I'm doing an update. So I'm gonna plug this in and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my USB and as you can see I got OpenTX right here. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to um, write the wrong firmware to this radio. Okay, so I'm gonna change my settings. So I'm gonna go to my radio profile settings profiles and I'm gonna pick a QX7 just because, okay? And when I do that, I'm going to um, actually write the firmware to the radio right now, like this, okay? So I'm gonna go to uh, write firmware to radio. And hopefully that's it. Okay, uh, uh, no, that's not what I want. I wanna, let me make sure I have the customer profile. So customer, I, uh, uh, we'll run a QX7 access, let's just do that, okay? So I'm going to uh, go to my settings in there and I wanna make sure, again, this isn't really that important as much as it is, I just wanna make sure that um, I have all the information here so I can try to crash this, right? So we're gonna go ahead and just say update radio, right, firmware radio, and I'm gonna write to 2.347 firmware that's sitting in my folder, QX7 access, you can see that right here. And I'm gonna say check hardware compatibility, and I watch this. So I'm gonna click load. Uh, let me go to open TA, let me make sure I'm in the right firmware. So I'm not right from so let me go to desktop, uh, transmitters, uh, QX7 access, and I'm gonna do my uh, SD card, and I believe it's in my firmware, and I believe it's this one, there it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell it, I wanted to do a firmware check, right? So just, I mean, a hardware compatibility check, watch. Now, hopefully, there you go, no, 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 it's not, firmware is not compatible, okay? Fine, screw it, but let's just say I do it anyway. And let's just say that I am like, you know what, I don't care. Uh, I believe that it is the right one and you're wrong, and so let's do it. So I'm gonna write it. Says it's done, okay? And uh, I don't know how that's, I don't know what the outcome's gonna be like, but I'm gonna go ahead now and eject. And then I'm gonna eject again. Okay, and then I'm just gonna disconnect the USB, hit exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Turn this off. I mean, this thing, I need it to crash, so hold on a second. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, so that's not gonna happen for me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to crash the bootloader. So with the unit off, I'm just gonna plug in the USB. Okay, I'm gonna go over to, again, to write firmware. And I'm gonna look at the correct firmware and I'm gonna say, okay, write to TX. Now this is gonna write to the bootloader. So I don't know if it's gonna give me a problem or not, but I'm hoping it crashes it. Again, guys, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to, uh, we're just trying to crash the radio, okay? So we can address some of the common questions that you have when the radio won't turn on properly. So this is fun because sometimes we're trying not to break stuff, but today it's the opposite. As the storm rolls in, this is terrible weather. Uh, I'd like to say what's up to my boys, by the way. Congratulations to Ashton, kicking butt in football right now. I'm very proud of you, starting freshman and uh, wide receiver for your team. I'm, I'm excited. And Landon, you're in eighth grade now, and you are also doing a wide receiver, and you're kicking butt too, man, in your first year of football. And to my youngest boy, Jaden, uh, man, you finally got your cast off after wrecking into a mailbox uh, on an electric skateboard. And now it's time to have some fun. All right. Uh, okay, so we've done the firmware um, for the uh, uh, bootloader, right? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, there's the thunder. I'm gonna go ahead and just tell it to eject. All right, now. Uh, see, there you go. Okay, oh crap, you can't see that now. So let me show you what I'm doing here. So right now, I can hear it click, right? And I mean, I can hear it. I got nothing, right? Won't come on. Okay, now we know I loaded the wrong firmware, right? I mean, this is a given, okay? If I cannot turn it on, it's because I've damaged the bootloader file. So what do I do? Here's what I do. I take my USB cable, I leave it off, I leave the radio off, and I plug my USB cable back in. Okay, oh my God, at least do that right. Okay, it's still detected. And as you can see here, I'll show you uh, on the computer. Uh, uh, I, I'd like to show you where the hell is my icon. Hold on a second. 
Uh, my icon's not, so let me just run and click Control uh, right here. Okay, click OK. And we're going to go to Device Manager. And what you're going to see right now is you're going to see STM32 bootloader, which is what this radio is. That's, that's what this radio is doing right now. It's an STM32 bootloader, okay? So we know it's in there. So now we want to, bless you. Now what we want to do is we want to go and find the right profile. So in this case, let's go to our settings, go to radio profiles, and I'm going to select customer X9 Lite 2019. That's what this is. It's under the customer profile, and it's an X9 Lite 2019, okay? So I selected that. Now, I know that my firmware and everything here, I've got a folder just for it, X9 Lite 2019, right? So when I go over here and I say write the firmware, it's going to say, where do you want to get it from? And I'm going to say, I want it to come from my transmitters folder, customer X9 Lite 2019, and there it is. There's my firmware of 2.3.9. Now, I want to go ahead and flash this. I'm going to put the hardware compatibility check back on, but I want to flash the bootloader only right now. So I'm going to leave the radio off, plug the USB in, and I'm going to do the following. Here it goes. Okay, so if you see the error right now, the system does not understand because it's got a bootloader, uh, a file from an X, uh, QX7 now. So it believes that that's the right radio profile. This thing has no way to check. So you're gonna get this error now, right? So here's what you do. You just close this, you go back here. Whoops, not that one, sorry. Go back to download it. And this time you know you're on the right file, right? Remove this and click right to TX. Now it's gonna force the bootloader to take it. Okay, so understand that if you load the wrong bootloader software on, okay, uh, at some point, I'm sorry, I keep thinking uh, that, I'm, that you're able to see what I'm talking about. So if you load the wrong bootloader software, right, at some point, you remove the hardware compatibility check or, you know, whatever, you ignore it, whatever it may be, and you load, like, this, in this case, a QX7 uh, onto an X9 Lite, you're going to have this radio not start up. The only way to repair it, or the fastest way, the easiest way, is to just leave the radio off plug the USB in and find the correct firmware and flash the bootloader again, okay? So watch what happens now when we're done, all right? So I'm gonna switch back to that screen. Here we go. We're at 100%, right? So we're gonna close this. Okay, everything's done. File successfully. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's eject. And now watch. And there you go. You're back in business. Okay, Welcome now. To now, I want to go ahead and reflash the actual firmware on this because I did try to put that QX7 firmware. So I'm going to get my radio back in and watch them I'll plug it in. Okay. And we are now, let me show you what we got. Here comes the rain. It's coming down hard too. Oh, oh. oh football practice is out. So device manager. Okay. And now uh, when you look uh, on your uh, items here, right? So just look around and you'll see now you're not in you don't have the uh, bootloader mode STM bootloader mode, right? Okay, so at this point at this point now it's reading the files. So that's fine um, If you want to see what it is and I, I wouldn't recommend doing this because you're supposed to eject properly, but watch Okay, you see how your USB we lost some units here, right? So when we plug it back in Okay, we picked mass storage device. This is one of the new ones that's on there now, and that's what we have right now. Okay, so here's what we want to do now. So we're going to go back to our um, uh, OpenTX, and I'm just going to tell it to now flash the radio when it's on. When you flash it when it's on, you're not flashing the bootloader, now you're actually flashing the radio itself, right? You're flashing the firmware of the radio, not the bootloader. So we're going to look at this. Everything looks right. It's coming from the X9 Lite. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And if you want now, you can go ahead, just to make sure you don't make the same mistake, go ahead and leave this on. Click right to TX, okay? It automatically checks the bootloader, make sure you're right in the right firmware, checks against the radio and the hardware, and click close. That's it, now you're done. Now you can go ahead and eject, and you can eject again, right here. Unplug the thing, go to exit. Welcome to OpenTX. And you're done, problem solved, okay? So guys, again, if you do happen to try to flash your radio, and you are not able to get it to turn back on, remember, leave the radio off, plug in your USB, go to OpenTX, locate the right firmware for your radio model, and do a right flash the firmware uh, with the radio off. That will put it in bootloader mode, and that will flash the bootloader and not the actual radio itself. Holy cow, it scared me. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please uh, join uh, our Facebook groups, uh, Facebook, Facebook group. 
Uh, okay, and also please follow us on Facebook. And uh, let's see, what is that? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Show some support. All right, guys, God bless. Be safe. Uh, it's crazy out there. I don't know where, what the weather's like where you're at, but by all means, please be safe. Be careful. God bless. Spend time with your family. You don't know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You always got time to fly. All right, guys, God bless. Peace. See you. Bye.